But what's going on, Toxic Gamers? We gotta get into this situation immediately, man. The gamers are not stopping. This has started WW10 in the video games community. And after what just went down, I don't think you guys are ready because one of the dev actually came out and he has leaked everything that is going down generally in the video game, but video game industry, but more so than that, what's going on with Dragon Age and at the Bioware. Like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders kaji we're gonna get into the story i don't think you guys are ready for this one fast on your seed belts because uh oh shout out to the homie asman gold roll it are the numbers for dragon age right now good in my opinion no so okay. if Dragon's Dogma 2 had a top peak of 228,000 people, Damn. and then it okay. had a sales record of 3 million copies. Sheesh. So Dragon's Dogma was talking about all sales from uh, PS5 and also from PC. So then you could assume that 70,000 is a little bit more than a third of that. A Again, bit, yeah. we don't have the console numbers, a little bit. but we have Dragon's Dogma overall sales after two months and their peak Steam player numbers. Thus we can infer what Dragon's Age sales could be. That the amount of sales that you would have yeah. for Dragon Age right now would be in between 600,000 and 800,000 copies sold if you use Dragon's Dogma as a point of reference. 800,000 times 60, yeah. so that's the amount of money that they made, 48 million. So 40, there okay. we go. This is the amount of money that they're getting after Steam, 33 after Steam. million dollars. How much did it cost to make? Uh, can a brother get like two pennies or something Bruh. like that? Damn. The game. Uh, these are all going... <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Correction? No, no, no. That that statement was not good. The development cost of Dragon Age could be between 80 and 150 million dollars. I think that we can probably assume that as a AAA game that's had 10 years of development to yeah. it, at least $100 million. Yeah, exactly. Like, Concord comes to everybody's mind, right? It's probably coming to your mind as well. Those seconds spent... Four hundred million dollars! Four hundred million dollars! Eight years! Eight years! Four hundred million dollars and they couldn't even make one million back. <laughs> was spent on this project. Wait for and this is, again, we are underselling the cost and we're overselling the sales. Mm. They are not even halfway towards making mm. the money back. That's a yeah. really bad number. Game get wall, get wall, go broke. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. This is the main guys. Roll it. I could confirm from that that they were exactly who they claimed to be. And from that, we scheduled a phone call. A call that ended up... Context, apparently a dev from Bioware reached out to Smash JT and Smash JT is claiming that he's the dev that reached out. So, uh, yeah, but take it as, take, still take it as rumors though, you know what I mean? Lasting nearly an hour long. He wanted to let me know about the situation going on at Bioware right now because he felt so helpless to fight back alone. And from what he told me about Bioware today, it paints a very dire picture Wait of what's it. going on behind the scenes at the offices there. Uh -oh. He claimed that the company is intentionally discriminating against men and selectively hiring individuals who parrot and embrace the specific ideology that the higher-ups are demanding. He personally reached out to me after watching my videos and he emphasized the importance of speaking out against what he referred to as the woke virus that's run amok in these offices, infecting no. the entire game industry on the whole. He's been somebody who's worked in the industry for decades and this is something that he's talking about, seeing it as a new frontier coming in and sweeping through. Oh, 100%. If he worked for the last 10 years or he has been working for 10 years yeah absolutely you go back 10 years we didn't have crap like this or at least it wasn't on this level right now it is like everywhere you look i mean damn bro damn man what the hell is going on in video games right like crazy all right let's get back to it everywhere not just bioware every company the contacts he has he communicates with other people like him in the industry seeing this happen and they're saying it's happening at many other Normal men is his t-shirt. They're probably gonna take offense to that too, brother. Yeah. Slow your rolls, poppy. Tranquilo, poppy. They're game companies right now. They're all suffering from the same issue. He told me that they're promoting liberal white, typically trans, or at least queer, or at least on the LGBTQ plus ZYXA spectrum, women, and holding down everybody else, including even some gay men if they didn't go into the LGBT and go trans and make sure that they were part of the club. It depends on a few variables, but the greatest takeaway I had from it all was it's all based off of sexual identity. None of it has anything to do with the creativity of making a game. The Insider disclosed that Bioware's corporate culture has become more woke than anyone could ever have possibly imagined, even Damn. seeing some of the stuff from Dragon Age The Veilguard. According to him, the identity politics at play within the company 
are more intense than any current level of public perception suggesting. And it's now reached a point where Bioware themselves is singularly focused on hiring based off of gender and ideological com- There oh we go. God. There we go. I, I, and I mean, like, that that sounds reasonable. That sounds tr uh, true. After what we are seeing in this game, it's like, you know, they're actively uh, doing that. They had surgery scars as well, right? Uh, you can be a Right? So, they had surgery. They were promoting surgery scars. They are. They are. Not even they were. They are promoting surgery scars to kids. Like, hey, it is cool to do that. And all that kind of bull squash. And, uh, and if you have, like, mispronounced or whatever, or however you say it, you gotta like you're a bad person and in this gameplay segment that we saw in the last video that we covered in the last video you're uh, currently seeing but for context apparently in this uh, gameplay scene the chick actually you know mispronoun someone in the game and then she's like oh oh my bad my bad i'm sorry for misgendering you i'm gonna go do 10 push-ups to which people are saying those weren't even 10 push-ups like she cheated when she did push-ups right so they are actually doing that and people are calling this like trans simulator you need to be trans in this game and all that like i was seeing like asmund gold going crazy as well people are going crazy as well on the youtube like everybody's like calling this out man this situation is wilder than diddy situation guys no diddy though oh, no diddy man like everybody's going off the homie yeah the homie tyro <laughs> The whole entire madness is going on as well, man. Like, dude, what the hell is going on right now, man? Clients, like, it's part of the test to get into the company for new people that they're hiring. And he even went into talking about how the current employees, his co workers, ask questions and talk about openly at the office LGBTQ, the gay stuff that they're into, and things they do when they close the bedroom door out in the open, like, just there for people to talk about. And it, like, makes them feel uncomfortable to the point of being like, can I even say anything about this? It's kind of weird that it's become so acceptable. Yeah, right? Like, let me just not talk about putting my pee pee in the poo poo at the workplace. Let's <laughs> let's create video games here, right? Like, that's what we're, that's why we're here. Oh man. Oh damn. Man. Oh, my bad, guys. I thought I was here to make video games. Okay, you're gonna talk about, like, hey, putting the pee pee in poo poo, doing this. What? Y'all sick is crazy? Where are the video games? Why y'all sick is so, so infatuated with the orientation? This and that. Da -dee -da -da -da. Why? Why? Can a brother just see you guys be normal? Can't make gaming normal again, man. <laughs> Damn! Dumb, dumb, like the video dumb, if you agree, guys. Like the video if you agree. This is insane. This is ludicrous, man. I be looking like this right now. Damn! Shout out to Ice Cube, man. Like, <laughs> this uh, scene is from the uh, movie called 21 Jump Street, bro. One of the uh, best uh, co comedic, uh, one of the best comedy movie, uh, I would say, uh, in the modern days. I, I mean, the movie came out like a decade ago, right? I don't think they would ever make a movie like that ever again because the, the the stuff that we had in that movie i don't think they would do that you know so same goes with dragon age apparently in dragon age 2 they were actively calling out the woke stuff people are comparing the old dragon age game versus new one right so in the older one for context in the older game the, the devs are calling out the woke stuff and in the new one they are becoming that Bruh. so yeah it is you know that that statement you live long enough to see you see yourself become the villain there's like a quote something like that 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 applies to this situation in the office hallways water cooler talk it's literally everywhere he stated that men Bruh. are excluded entirely from of the course. conversations unless they identify toxic masculinity unless they identify as what we what we what Everywhere. He stated that men are excluded entirely from the conversations unless they identify as some sort of non-traditional gender or orientation. And at Bioware, as I was told from him, they're only interested in hiring people they can control within the company. They want what they can be considered a cultist because sense, only yeah. the people that parrot and embrace the exact same ideologies are the people they can trust there. It's like creepy the things he was telling me and how the day-to-day -day work life is not even a job at a company or a game company around the water cooler like 
don't drink the Kool-Aid over there, because you don't know how bad it's going to be. Have a thought on a different direction you want to go with the game, or what you think could work better? You want to question any female voices at the company, or step out of the proverbial lines that have been drawn? You are on your way out. And it reminds me, oddly specifically, about the insider that reached out to me from Firewalk Studios, uh -oh. and the environment that was going on there, where anybody who is a straight white male, or not even white, if you're black too, if you're straight... Hey! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Stop! Stop right there! Stop right there! Stop right there. Stop right there. Man, these suckers crazy, bro. These suckers crazy, man. And you don't agree directly with all these cult mentalities? You are on the way out, and you're gonna be somebody blackballed in the entire game industry. Because I, okay, what what, what, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. what does blackballed mean? I, I know blueballed, okay, you don't wanna get blueballed. But what does blackballing mean? Uh, let me know, any, 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 uh, any scientist here in the chat? I, 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 I just want to know, right? Like, what does that mean? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Because it has run amok throughout. So much for that diversity thing, right? Mm. The atmosphere at Bioware... That, that's the thing, right? They are so... I, I, listen, man. Like, I, I would say, generally speaking, people are for diversity. Oh. Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not talking about the forced diversity and the crap that they're doing in the in the name of diversity. That That's not what I'm talking about. But the general diversity is actually a good thing, right? We all are different, okay? We all are, you know, come from different places, from like... Not like that, but, but you know what I mean, right? Diversity is good when it's organic. You know what I mean? Like, for example, if, a, uh, like, yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC, uh, it, it, that game is set in feudal Japan, so it should have had that Japanese male protagonist, it should have been, like, accurate, and, you know, they should have respected the culture, but they did not. They you, you, they used a black man, and they used black men as a shield and made him gay and all that, so they were being racist. Of course, being racist towards Asian people, but not just the Asian people, they were being actively racist towards black people as well. We, t we talked about it a million times already, and, and yes, right? So they done that. That that is like the bad kind of diversity. The good diversity would have been, hey, the game is set in Japan. Therefore, you know it's solid, and you got Japanese people in the game. You got the Japanese middle protagonist. Boom, that's your diversity done right. Okay, but the stuff that they're doing, they're excluding men. Okay, if you're white, we're gonna be racist towards you. If you're black, hey, uh, you you cannot be straight. If you're a black man or black woman, no 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 no, you can you guys cannot be straight. You need to be something, okay? Either you need to be fat. No disrespect to my, my stud donuts out there. Hey, like, listen, I, I love everybody in real life, okay? Uh, this is real life too. But what I'm trying to say here is that the, the stuff that they are doing is just insanely racist, disrespectful. And it's like, what are these suckers doing? These suckers, if you're black, whether you're a man or female, yeah, you need to not be straight, essentially. There needs to be a catch with you being black. These suckers are hella racist. If you're Asian, yeah, man, you guys uh, <laughs> you guys can go pound sand. To them, brown people like me don't even exist, right? You feel what I'm saying? Like, to them, brown people don't even exist. And if you're a female, and if you're a straight female, yeah, bro, that's a problem too. So these suckers are also sex sexist towards females as well. They don't want females. They want dressed up females essentially they don't want the real females yeah if you're a female nah bro oh hell no nah. so these things are hella sexist racist they don't like black people they they think brown people don't exist yeah white people we're gonna actively openly call them out it, it's like bro who y'all suckers like <laughs> who y'all suckers like man like what the hell is going on what is wrong with y'all what is wrong with y'all like damn what you suck is crazy in the name of diversity this is what y'all be doing Shit, man. Where he continued had grown more extreme since Kareen Bush took the directional helm for Dragon Age the Veldard. And according in, in French, right? George Bush. Femta Bush. You know, uh, that was... Uh, I'm in Montreal, so we do speak French. I, I went to a French school, so like... Uh, yeah, and I apologize on the behalf of Sweet Baby Inc. and Ubisoft guys. Yes, they are also in Montreal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I apologize. <laughs> They're never gonna apologize, so I apologize on their behalf, okay? You listen to me right now. I apologize on their behalf, okay? I apologize on their behalf, guys. This suck is crazy, okay? But yes, uh, here there was like a metaphor or not necessarily a metaphor but like a joke right george bush femta bush which means hey george bush uh, shut your mouth that was a thing that you know kids used to say in school and classes and yeah I, I, yeah so that act that came that memory got triggered 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 you know
to my source, Bush's leadership marked a huge change in the atmosphere at Bioware, giving preference to anyone who identified as gender non-conforming, and it even intensified the focus further on ideological adherence over merit and talent. The shift was, according to him, deteriorating the studio's environment and completely eroding. So, uh, is that is that the brother that became a sister? Forming. And it even intensified the focus further on ideological adherence over merit and talent. The shift was uh, hard to say. So yeah, so this is a brother and became a sister. <laughs> technology advancing though. Technology is advancing. I would say like, you know, so he changed the glasses as well. He changed the glasses to get more of like, uh, you know, feminine, feminine glasses. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Live your life, boo. Was, according to him, deteriorating the studio's environment and completely eroding Bioware's once prestige. Okay, I'm not sure if that's the same person or not. Like, I, I, I'm not sure because uh, with females, it's like very, very hard, to, uh, hard to say if it's the same female or not because every day, like, they use like different kind of makeup, different kind of looks. So it's, it becomes harder to know whether it's like the same female or not. If any females watching this video, you're probably gonna agree with this, right? Because first, you might be like. Ah! another day another day you're like like that uh, and then you know you know and technology is advancing so much I, I don't even know like who's who anymore right so it's it's a uh, it's hard it's hard to know like who's who right so just reputation in the industry one that he has been a part of for years so it's not somebody that just got hired off the street just starting first day on the job never worked in the game industry before and doesn't know what he's doing no this guy has experienced the game industry Allegedly. for a long time and he's been at bioware for over four years according to him and he's seen it go straight downhill he went on to describe bioware being a corpse being worn by ea yes men and filled with cult-like pandering weirdos it wasn't anything like he had signed on for all those years ago he even mm. shared a personal story about how he was called into hr to discuss a situation that a female co-worker at the office complained about him and said he made her feel uncomfortable in order to ensure her job was safe and more importantly holding him down below her even though according to him he did nothing wrong at all in a weird mm. way it could be described as a modern form of corporate slavery like mm. i even asked him that I was like, this kind of feels no. like like slavery in a way where all these masters at the office are making sure that you are in line in your place and you're not allowed to say anything that steps Brett. out of line because Brett. you will be excommunicated from the cult and like i said blackballed out of the entire industry to which he said <laughs> ah hey whoa but what does that mean I, I i'm getting a little bit of the context though but i still don't know what that means exactly yeah, that's actually a perfect way to explain it. He went on to tell me that the person that complained about him was a female employee that was clearly- uh, Okay, does Blackball, uh, is Blackball similar to friendly BBC online something? You know, the, the, the Call of Duty, uh, yeah, let me show you guys this, okay? Yeah, that, that friendly BBC online. It does that, is, is it similar? I don't know, man, I don't know. Because yeah, Call of Duty added that added that skin in in the game, right? A perfect way to explain it. He went on to tell me that the person that complained about him was a female employee that was clearly, visibly, mentally unhinged and would claim anything to get ahead. And he couldn't say anything about it because he knew that road only went one way. Sounds like a really great work environment for people. I mean, I guess it's fine if you're like a hardcore liberal LGBTQ woman and that's your environment. I'm sure it's great for you, but anybody that's like not that it sounds like hell the insider noted that under the structure currently bioware's latest release dragon age the veil guard serves less like an immersive rpg experience and more like a propaganda piece aligning with the ideology of the company's leadership corinne bush is a transsexual man ah! that okay so now that's the same guy that's the same person okay so brother became a ah, brother ah. <coughs> so brother became a sister any sister watching the video let me know uh, okay, so yeah, uh, same person, same person. Got it, got it. Yeah, live your life, boo-boo. Live your life. Also, real quick, guys, I, before I forget, shout out to the homie, the bread, the train, the online enemy, friendly online enemy inbound, or something crazy. Now, shout out to you, crazy, for following over on the Instagram. If you guys do use Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo that claims to now be a woman. And now, because of that, they want to inject that and see themselves in everything they work on. And all Damn. the videos that have been releasing and Veilguard showing everyone exactly what it's all about pretty much exposes the agenda with all of it. She's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um. Ah, shit, they 
They're still holding it, sorry. Mm -hmm. He went on to talk about how they didn't care to make the game fun anymore. They rewrote it over and over again, changing the script, redoing the work he had to do over and over again, every time getting worse and worse from his perspective. But he mm. put up with it because he was already so in deep with the project that it was kind of like, hey, I'm still getting a paycheck. I can still keep doing this while I keep my options open elsewhere. And there's kind of a level of feeling like you're a part of something. You put so much work into it, so much years and so much time to just up and quit and leave is kind of hard to do. So I can totally understand where he's coming from first perspective to just be like, yeah, I'll put up with this for a little bit longer, but I can't wait to get the hell out of here because this environment is horrific. Dragon Age the Veilguard is... Sister glowing right now. <laughs> Sister glowing. Go queen. Game director. Corrine. Strong independent. Strong, 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 strong. Strong, 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 independent, strong, independent. Okay, all right, go live your life, boo-boo. For all intents and purposes, genuine propaganda. It's not even a game at this point. It's on the same level as Dustborn, which is crazy because many people thought that the game of Dustborn was just an aberration, but no, it looks like in 2024, games like this becoming propaganda are becoming a trend more than something that's a this is that clip that i was talking about right misgendering and after that going ahead and doing push-ups and i've been reading your guys comments and you guys were saying like these are cheat push-ups let's see some people were saying that she didn't even do 10 push-ups so. one off these issues may be affecting bioware's stability and he mentioned Four. that there's a growing talk within the company of five. incoming cutbacks no one feels comfortable right now and the entire company Six. is a house of cards after nearly 10 years in development uh okay seems like that she did six push-ups though yeah what about the rest of it like i thought you were supposed to be strong independent um scrapping dragon age dreadwolf and starting over multiple times ea is going to have to make some tough decisions moving forward according mm. to my source these are all tied to the mismanagement of the excessive focus on hiring practices that prioritize ideological alignment over skill completely draining bioware of its ability to sustain Damn. any meaningful creative output if you're everything will turns to you know what okay guys check out this video on the screen this is the last episode that we've done guys insane story just came out about mr beast all right i'm not sure if you saw this this is uh new kind of allegations and uh uh yeah man i i i just don't know how we got here though like it, it is truly insane the, the 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 claims that are being put out there check it out and i'll see you right there